everybody. Pete with Upstate Nation Baseball, helping to promote baseball in upstate New York by covering and sharing interesting stories. You can follow me on the Facebook page, Upstate Nation Baseball, on X and YouTube, at Upstate Nation NY. For this episode, I wanted to give a quick roundup of our local college programs and their seasons so far. Some are done, and others are waiting for their NCAA tournament seedings and schedule, which will come tomorrow afternoon. We'll start with Utica University. The Pioneers upset number one seeded Russell Sage in the Empire 8 Conference Tournament and advanced to face St. John Fisher in the championship game. The number two seeded Cardinals beat the Pioneers 13-4 to to win the Empire 8 Conference Championship. Utica finishes the season 19-25 and overall and 11-7 and in conference play. Offensive leaders for Utica were former Utica Proctor player Josh Duvall, a junior led the Pioneers with a 392 average and had a 1.036 OPS. Senior Jason Story from Hilton, New York, out of the Rochester area, hit for an average of 355 with a 1.134 OPS and a team high 11 home runs and stole 11 bases out of 13 attempts. On the mound, they were led by freshman Austin Rhodes from Wappinger Falls, New York. He held opponents to a 198 average. Junior Jack Krug from Kanajahari had 39 strikeouts in 38 innings pitched with a 4 and 1 record. Hamilton College, the Continentals lost to Tufts in the NESCAC Conference Tournament to close out their 2024 season, finishing 13 and 15 overall, 6 and 6 in conference. Offensively, they were led by senior outfielder Jack- Jackson Sattinger from Port Washington, New York, who hit for a 436 average an OPS of 1.272 with seven home runs and was 16 out of 17 stealing bases. On the mound, they were led by junior right-hander Jack Eshelman from Collegeville, Pennsylvania, who went 4-1 with a 2.05 ERA. He had 69 strikeouts over 57 innings pitched with three complete games. SUNY Poly. The Wildcats finished their season 18 and 16 overall, 7 and 6 in conference. They were led by sophomore third baseman Ryan Pelton from Caledon, Ontario, who hit 397 with a team high six home runs. Junior pitcher Aaron Kiefer from Niagara Falls, New York, was 4 and 3 on the mound with a team high nine games started and threw 52 and two thirds innings this season. Mohawk Valley Community College, the Hawks had a down year. Finishing 3-23 and 23 overall, sophomore Kevin Del Vecchio from Niagara Falls, Ontario, led the Hawks with a 384 average and a 1.072 OPS. Freshman Austin Stokert from Whitesboro had two wins and a team-high 43 innings pitched. Herkimer College, the Generals are 24-7 and seven overall, 8-2 and two in conference. They will play later this week in the NJCAA Region 3 Tournament at Falcon Park in Auburn, Thursday, May 16th. The Generals have been led by sophomore Mikey Rodriguez from Pelham, New York, who is hitting 415 with an OPS of 1.217. Sophomore Donovan Roden from Boston Spa, New York, is hitting 393 with a team-high seven home runs and an OPS of 1.266. Freshman Subasa Tomi, from Japan. That's a pretty good recruiting reach for the Generals. Leads the Generals on the mound with a 3.0 ERA going 6-1 and one over 42 innings with 54 strikeouts. Impressive numbers from the Japanese pitcher. Sophomore left-hander Colin Skirmont from Whitesboro went 3-0 and with 46 strikeouts over 34 and one-third innings pitched with a 2.88 ERA. Equally uh, impressive numbers for uh, the pitchers from Herkimer. Lemoyne College is 19-26 overall, 12-16 in NEC play so far this season. This is their first season back at the Division I level since 2011. They will close out the regular season next weekend at Norfolk State University. The final NEC series to see if they can qualify for their conference tournament, which takes the top six teams So the Dolphins will need to win out and get some help as they are currently tied for eighth place in the NEC. Dewey Roden, a grad student from Cheryl, New York, is hitting 322 
with an OPS of 937 and five home runs. Nick Nevins, a fifth year senior from Poughkeepsie, is hitting 305, OPS of 929, and has a team high seven home runs. Max Parker, senior from Manlius, is three and four on the bump with a 4.75 ERA over 13 games started. And Jacob Crystal, a junior from Cicero, New York, has a 4.78 ERA over 81 innings pitched. Ithaca College, the Bombers won the Liberty League title yesterday, beating the University of Rochester 7-6. to This is the third straight season Ithaca has won the league title. The Bombers are 31-9 overall, 16-4 in league play. Hamden Laney, freshman from Decatur, Georgia, hit for an average of 351 with an OPS of 1.052 and three home runs. Ethan Rothstein, senior from Demarest, New Jersey, hit for a 328 average and was named the Liberty League Conference Tournament MVP also. Colin Lehner, a junior from Edison, New Jersey, went 7-2 with a 3.94 ERA on the hill and a team-high 12 games started with a 1.20 whip. Jack Picozzi, a freshman from Hetfield, Pennsylvania, went 4-1 with 58 strikeouts over 48 and two-thirds innings pitched. The Bombers will learn where and who they play during tomorrow's Division III NCAA selection show at noon. They advanced to the Super Regional last season, which is impressive, and that is the Sweet 16 level of the NCAA tournament. St. John Fisher, the Cardinals, won the Empire 8 Conference title for the fourth straight year with a win over Utica in the championship game. They are 26-17 and 17 overall, 15-3 and three in conference. They, too, will await tomorrow's NCAA selection show to learn their next opponent in the NCAA tournament. They lost to John Hopkins in the regional championship game last season. They're led by Brian Norson, a grad student from Hamburg, New York, who is hitting 398 with a 1.171 OPS and a team high 10 home runs. James Murphy, a senior from Niskayuna, New York, is hitting 393 with 1.094 OPS and a team high 33 stolen bases out of 36 attempts. Ethan Fulton, sophomore from Trumansburg, New York, is 5 and 1 on the hill. With a 2.83 ERA, he has 64 strikeouts in 57 and one-third innings pitched. Patrick McGuire is a senior from Boston Lake, New York, has a 3.02 ERA, and went 4-2 and two this year. SUNY Cortland, the number one seeded Red Dragons, lost in the SUNYAC tournament today, Sunday, 5-12, May 12th, to number two seed New Paltz. They are 30 and 12 and 1 overall. Their NCA hopes are still alive, though, uh, even though the SUNY AC does have an automatic bid. So New Paltz gets the automatic bid. There are some at large bids. Uh, and at last check coming into the weekend, SUNY Cortland was ranked 20th nationally. So they look to be in good shape to receive an at large bid for the Division Three baseball tournament. And the Red Dragons reached the 30 win mark for the 19th straight season, discounting the missed 2020 season. So it's an exciting time for these great baseball programs. Best of luck to Cortland, Ithaca, and St. John Fisher and Herkimer, who will start their playoff run. It's good to see for upstate New York. If anybody has any questions, comments, please let me know. You can message me. I would love to incorporate those ideas. Uh, in future episodes. Thank you. See you next time.